right, we're returning. There's the taxi. Green little plum bob, Abby, Eli, Rickin. Okay, hopefully that synced it up. <laughs> I always gotta sync the audio every time I leave the neighborhood. It's why I never want to leave this house. I mean, not leave the neighborhood. Na leave the house. Anytime I leave the house, I gotta sync up the audio. It's very sad. So, uh, we all have to pee. <laughs> Go upstairs to pee, Rickon. Stop staring at your sister peeing. That's really weird. You can use her bathroom. Get revenge. Yeah, that's still really weird that you were just standing in there watching her. Whatever. Oh, the parents are almost no longer tired. What are you doing? You're playing. Oh, I see. And also the trash can was kicked over by someone. <laughs> You need to take a shower. Butler, make us dinner. Can, can you make us dinner? No. Fine. I'll serve some grandma's comfort soup. Oh, good job, Eli. You took care of your little sister. Ooh, and Vanel gained a cooking skill point. And then you put it right in the floor. <sighs> Great. <laughs> Also, you didn't take a shower like I told you to. Take a shower. Please. And then eat some soup. That actually looks decent. You're not <laughs> Eli. You're Eli. <laughs> I keep getting the boys mixed up and I have no idea. They look completely different. They both act slightly different. I don't know why I keep uh, messing them up. Mixing them up. Oh, look. Ravi of all people. Is taking care of the, of the, of my daughter. <laughs> Thank you, Ravi. Are you tired, Rickon? Yes, you are. But you need to eat more soup. Vince, the headmaster, has arrived for dinner. Oh, hi! I didn't know if you were coming or not, but I'm gonna greet you. Okay, or you can greet him. You know, either or. It's probably better if you did it. Do it, Ravi. Okay, I think Ravi might be. Leaving. No, there was a bottle in the snow. I didn't even notice. Uh, Eli, what are you doing? Why are you saluting people? <laughs> Eli, what are you doing? You're playing fetch. No, you're tired. Go to the bathroom and go to sleep. No, don't go to sleep first. Ah. Bathroom, sleep. Okay, good. All right, hello, Mr. Headmaster. Let me give you a tour of my not of my lovely abode. A, love, a tour of your home would be lovely, and blah, blah, blah. Hopefully it will be lovely. Okay. We just need to make this good. Now I know, I know this guy likes books, right? So if we put more books in here, then he'll like it, right? Right? And sure, we might lose a bit of money from this, but it's fine! We've got plenty of money. Watch us get broke near the end of Nick's life. Cheese's birthday is only a day away. Oh, and we can have the birthday tomorrow. Or today. Whichever. Whichever happens. I guess tomorrow, after work. Okay. What do you think of this mo mo room, headmaster? Oh, you like it? Give me at least... A couple points. Yes! Okay. I don't know if how good 10 is on the scale of good, but hopefully it's good. I don't know. I don't know how fond uh, the headmaster is of pets. Hopefully he likes them. <laughs> now I'm moving all of the bookshelves upstairs. Yep, sorry Ariel, I'm putting a bookshelf in your way for a minute, but... It's for a good cause, trust me. Showroom. What do you think of this room? Ah, you like, yes? Of course you do. It's filled with books. How could you not like? And this is our daughter's room. Abby, our daughter. The one who really wants to get into your school because she's the only nerd of this household. She loves reading. It's her only hobby. Her only hobby. <laughs> <laughs> All 
All right. Come in here. Come in. Come into my daughter's room. Do I need to move a little bit more? There you go. Show room. How do you like our daughter Abby's room? Yes, you like? You like? I know you like. Yes. Okay. We have just one more room to show you, and that would be the gym. Or as I like to call, the library. <laughs> You will really love this room. Trust me, Mr. Headmaster. Come on. Uh, come on, a little further. This is where we exercise our brains and our... bodies. Do you like? I knew you'd like. Yes, solid 40 points. Now I just have to not F up dinner. Okay, what can I... <gasps> Stuffed rainbow trout! Go! Nick, go! You have to. You have to make this. Vandal's got logic. Okay, that's nice. Somebody talk to him or something. Here, Abby. You talk to him. You're the only one who makes sense. Talk to him about stuff. Don't bother with cheese. I'll get your mother to don't bother with cheese. Stop. Or, or Ravi can do it. I don't know. Cheese looks fine to me in my window. Yes, charts. Charts are great. Don't you love charts, Headmaster? He looks like he likes charts. He loves charts! Yes! Woo! He loves charts. He loves those charts. Good. You keep doing what you're doing, Abby. For some reason, you can talk to him, but nobody else can. Okay, good. Vandal is taking care of the, the, uh Somebody clean this up before the Headmaster accidentally eats it. Hey, headmaster dude, it would be so good if we could... Oh, look at that! She already got 12 smooth points! Of course I should have the daughter talk to him and not the freaking loser parents who are losers and can't do anything right. <laughs> Sir, it would be a pleasure if we could have you for dinner. Man, they are hitting it off. They're really good at this. I mean, Abby's really good at this. Whatever. He's still coming, right? Okay, good. Yes, come to dinner. Abby may be in her pajamas, but it doesn't matter. <laughs> okay, somebody take care of this child. I mean, wait, you have the child. Why did you put... Whatever. This is going so well. This is going so well. Abby, you are doing a tremendous job. You are my favorite daughter. I should have done this a long time ago. <laughs> I should have just let the daughter do all of this a long time ago. Come on, give me 30 points for food. Give me 30 points for food. No, I gotta spit it up first. She got 27 points and schmooze points. Holy frick, Abby. You must just have the same interests as him or something. Well, I mean... You are a smart kid. <laughs> and he is the headmaster of the private school you want to get into. Okay, what is this? What is this? Dude, your baby wants something. I don't know what your baby wants, but it, she wants something. No, you guys, please. Please don't ruin it. Please. Hand the baby to... No, don't hand the baby to your daughter. <sighs> Jesus. Don't receive a baby. Come on, how did you like it? How did you like it? A hundred- Oh, hoo, hoo. Good job, Nick, on that fantastic rainbow trout. I almost forgot what it was. I was about to say rainbow shrimp. Oh, yes. Yes. Rickon, Eli, and Abby all got into private school. Woo! My children aren't losers, but I certainly am because I'm yelling about how great my children are when they are virtual beings. <laughs> Oh, man, have you ever seen such a high score? I doubt it. I doubt you have ever seen such a high score. Okay, let's get rid of all these bookshelves, because we don't need them. <laughs> goodbye, 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 goodbye. Everybody in here is a great liar. <laughs> it, it was really all the bookshelves and Abby. Uh, that was what made it. Actually, you know what? Everything went pretty well. I mean... Nick had the, the trout. We bought a bunch of bookshelves. Abby was doing good at the smooth schmoozing, which no one else could do. 
You still want a baby? Who is that? Be best friends with Sanjay. Who's Sanjay? Whatever. Uh, you want to get an A-plus report card. Reckon you're loud. Which, that's manageable. You're already at a B-plus. And what do you want? You want to play a video game and to buy a cell phone. Well, I mean, you got a new video game. How about you go play The Sims 2 busting out? That's kind of weird that you can pl Oh, it's just The Sims. <laughs> the Sims busting out. I was about to say, it'd be weird if you could play The Sims 2 in The Sims 2. And Rickon, you want to smutzle. Well, at least one of you is going places. I mean, one out of three kids... That's, that's more than I could ask for, really. You're making a girl. What's her name, Eli? <laughs> yeah, I'll, I'll let you have fun with that. Okay, mother and daughter are having a punching fight. Great, wonderful. <laughs> the baby is sleeping. Tomorrow is Cheese's birthday. Tomorrow is Cheese's birthday. <sighs> the kids get home sooner than you do. Maybe the kids can throw Cheese a birthday party. That'll be weird, but whatever. <laughs> They'll be there. Praise for behaving in the tub, because Ariel is a good girl. It's been so long since I've gotten to tell you that, Ariel. I'm so sorry, but you're a good girl, Ariel. I've missed you, even though you've never really technically left. Donald signed off. Heck's Donald. Why are you talking to Donald, Eli? You're hungry, and you're hungry. How about you guys go, uh... Oh my god. <laughs> Somebody still left a baby on the floor. You get leftovers, and you get leftovers. The baby's in the way, so they just decided to play red hands instead of... Instead of... Take care of the... Instead of moving the baby... Okay, Rickon, I guess you're on diaper duty then. Too bad. <laughs> oh, and Eli is making food instead of getting the leftovers. Okay, whatever. Abby's losing enthusiasm about film and literature. Oh well. I didn't mean to go up there to her. And school's coming in a bit. And Rickon made his first plate of uh, toaster pastries. Pop-tarts. <laughs> Ooh, and they're going to private school. It's the first day of private school. Stop doing whatever you guys are doing. School bus looks the same. But I bet you guys got cool outfits now. Come on, Eli, show us that outfit. Show us that outfit. Oh, doesn't he look handsome? <laughs> and he immediately changes out of it. Okay, and there's Rickon. Butler's just standing there, watching him. There's Abby. I got a glimpse of her before she immediately changed into her. Uh, outfit. They all have scarves. I like that, that they all have scarves. And as always, the bus driver just doesn't care. It's the same bus driver, too. How the heck does she run both the regular students and the private... Uh, how does she run both the public school buses and the private school buses? That's... that's crazy. Uh, Vandal, you have work, and you're missing it. <laughs> Vandal, you need to be at school! <laughs> 